theme song too. <laughs> no, Facebook gonna block us. Lord. But we can just own the copyrights to the song, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Hey y'all, hey y'all. What are you saying? There's too much fun. You can just see all that. <laughs> oh, I was trying to fix it. <laughs> As usual. I was trying to fix it. But I'm gonna leave it there. Happy Sunday. Hello. Oh, baby. Mm -mm. I love how yeah. sometimes I can see it here who's watching and sometimes I can't see it there and vice versa. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. See the comments all the way down here. I don't like the way it look on here. But we're gonna rock out this week. Good to know. Yeah. Um, what it looks like on each platform. Or Well, we look good on the screen here, so I like it. What's up, what's up everybody? Happy Sunday, how y'all doing? Shaw Wicker. Hey Shaw Wicker. Shaw Wicker say hey y'all. Hey everyone. Got Nicole watching. Hey. Yeah, don't mess with it. Leave it alone. Okay, Leave it alone. Thing. It's having a technical issue. <laughs> All right. Boom. All right, y'all. We here with another Poly Talk. Um, really don't have a set agenda this week for more than one reason. Um, so we are doing like an open style, open questions. You guys could drop questions in the comments, and we will go off of that. Um, yeah. We had somebody scheduled to go live this weekend, but... Unfortunately, they was uh, booted on the, from the page last minute, so uh, the opportunity is no longer present. We do have somebody scheduled to go live with us next week, and we're going to talk about that in a minute, though. <laughs> Ashley just texted me. I didn't mean to ignore your message. I'm sorry. I did not mean to ignore your message. I've been doing a whole lot. Oh, gee, you pronounced my name right. Ooh. Oh, did I, we? I don't get those often. <gasps> Look, I'm excited. I am. <laughs> Let's All right. talk about it. I'm really excited. So, yeah. Oh, wow. And the subtitles is popping up. Look, I like that. All right. So, yeah. Um, What would I say? We're going to talk about the member who's going live with us soon. Um, yeah. yeah, we're going to wait for the viewers to get up a little bit. And then I guess we'll do our intros. Yeah. Probably noticed that our background is. Um, extremely different. <laughs> we in our kitchen today. It's weird how clear it looks. It's bothering me looking at it here. I'm looking at there. Yeah. <laughs> Stop being a scientist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we in our kitchen today. We're not in our living room like we normally are. Um, we're about to start dinner soon. I know it's late for most folks, but yeah. This is a Sunday. I know, right? Look, this is a Sunday. Don't judge right, me. But... Don't judge me. And I'm making a simple dinner. I'm not even making a Sunday dinner. Yeah, yeah. You gotta keep us on comments, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so my baby yes. He's hey everyone. So I guess you're not talking to us, you're talking to the rest of y'all. <laughs> Cause I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Hello, good morning. Um, car, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next time I'll text Trey. She never neglects me. Oh wow. This is true. This is important. I, I'm I sorry. <laughs> I love you, I do. She does. She's neglectful. And Allie Abundance says, hey, hey, baby. <laughs> I heard from last time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Martha just joined. I can't see that. See, I don't see that. Uh, I don't know. What's up? What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Right, so we got a bunch of updates. I don't know if y'all seen the little status mm -hmm. I posted in the group like 30 minutes ago. Wasn't that long ago, but it was some updates, some uh, general updates. Um, one of them said matchmaking game, right? Yes. Matchmaking game. What they say? Oh wait, you started giving out the matches. I'm sorry, you know my memory is bad. Every live we test my memory. Look, <laughs> we said what we said. The matchmaking game. I started giving out the matches after the live. I will continue to finish out giving out the matches. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That, um, I need to speak with. Yeah, <laughs> and it was a long list too. Like yeah, yeah. The same so, showed out. Boom. <laughs> I lost my whole train of thought. I forgot what we were talking about. Well, <laughs> now, 
as it's happening, you went up there on, on um, DC. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, the live post. Oh, man. Okay, okay. I remember now. I'm sorry. I am so We're really just here today. So, if you guys have anything to say, it'd be great for conversation. <laughs> I promise I just had a brain fart. We did get a couple hellos. Yeah, it says, hi, my sweet Trey. Because, you know, I'm so sweet. Because she understands me. Um, mm-hmm. Then she goes, holler. She did she'll do. In <laughs> <laughs> the way you say or you change your tone before. Ew. Not in well, hi, yes. <laughs> Miss Jocelyn Kelly says, hi, y'all. Martha says, hey. And Goldie, my love, says, hey, babies. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to say, baby. I was disappointed in the Femme for Femme matchmaking game, man. I know. That was, that was the, the that, that game did the least numbers that we ever did as far as matchmaking numbers. Yeah. Like, ain't no game. <laughs> like, what we had, we had less than 50 people playing. Yeah. And we've never had. Like less, less than, than like fifty people. Yeah, <laughs> we've never had less than fifty people playing. So, um, yeah, if you are a fam or if you are a person that's connected to a fam and you guys are in a group, uh, be on the lookout for these type of games. Um, the next game coming up will not be fem for fem, so you're just gonna yeah. have to keep a lookout on when we're gonna do that again. Um, I think we're probably gonna hit hit them back again with the numbers game. Yeah, numbers yeah. Next. I think the numbers game is next, ball. but that's after the fem for fem game ends mm-hmm. next week. So next week, keep your eye open because I'm probably going to put a post out there that say, hey, would you like to do the numbers game? And I'll do it regularly. Um, I normally pin it to the group, right? And if you don't know, you can always go to the group and put the notifications on for this group and you'll get like a bunch of crazy notifications when I pin stuff. <laughs> so Jocelyn Kelly is in love with our little impromptu Q&A today. Um, okay. Car, since you know, we won't have anything to say, has decided to say. Please, if anyone has invited someone to the group, the person must answer all the questions, okay. or the person will be added, not be added to the group. Yes, spot on, <laughs> definitely. They, they must answer all the questions. That is including agreeing to the group rules, right? When you answer the three little questions, because it's only three questions and they're multiple choice. Um, there's a, a little same thing. It prompts you says, agree to the rules. I don't agree. If it says no response, you just automatically get declined. So. You know, if you're inviting someone and you want them to get in, just to get in, just tell them to answer the questions. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't just get in by association. That's not how it works anymore. Yeah. If you send an invite, I'm not letting that person in based off of, you know, you sending them an invite. I yeah. will say that you do get the vouch, like, so... You know, when Ashley Dior invites somebody to the group, yeah. okay, we know cars, so we'll let that person rock if they didn't answer the question, mm-hmm. but they'll just sit there longer, yeah. not you get in. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, as opposed to 24 hours, I might let, let this person I'm only like staying for two days or so. Oh, you ain't answered the question yet? All right, you're going to get a <laughs> You know, I, we posted that um, post, uh, what you say, it was 22,000 um, member yeah. requests in the past year mm-hmm. made to the group. And we've declined a total of about 19,000 of them. And, you know, with all that being said, you know, the, the request is at zero on a daily basis. So mm-hmm. it's not like we're just, those people are just sitting in the queue and we're just fishing through who we're declining and who we're not declining. Every time that queue fills up daily, it goes back to zero. So we're, we're literally going through any and everyone who is requesting to be in the group. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. What was another update on that post? Uh, I forgot that fast. Uh, we had the matchmaking game up there. Oh, the group is going to be closing on April 1st. So I'm going to be closing the group to the public on April 1st. So that's in probably a little bit over a week now. Um, so as soon as I do that, monkey bless you. <laughs> my daughter sneezed um, so as soon as I do that that means um, the only people that will be able to get into the group is the people that you can directly invite to the group and the same um, the same guidelines apply they still need to answer the questions so yeah um, I'm probably going to be having the group closed for a few months for a while like I said we don't um, open the group often we open it back up in June DC. Oh yeah, we'll open it up for the event and then close it right back. Mm-hmm. But like the group is not o- um, open often, you know. Um, and while the group is closed, that's when we do our cleaning. When we do our cleaning, that is when we are getting rid of all the inactive profiles. 
So you must be active in one of the three ways, right? So one way being likes, uh, reactions. reactions, like hearts and all that, sad faces, whatever, that's reacting to the post. Another way you can interact is commenting on the post. And then the last way that you can act, interact in the group is actually making posts. So if you are not active in one of those three ways, then you will get removed. Because if you're not a person that's social and wants to put yourself out there, what is stopping you from reacting to the information you're receiving in the group? All right. And the model of the group is to give more than you say. say. Yeah, you're right, baby. Yeah. And, and also, if you guys talk to like men or or catfish, don't be like, oh no, I'm like just block them. No, let us know. Like you want them? Why are you leaving them in the group for other people to talk to? Yeah. We need you guys help just as much. We're not talking to each and every one of you every day. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I had um, removed like 30 people from Nigeria at, at once. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> how did, why? I was like, I know that they have some type of activity. interaction with somebody. No one says anything, but um, yeah, so if you want the space clean, guys, just let us know and we'll remove these fake profiles and whatnot. You know, of course, uh, if you're just telling me like remove a person who, you know, looks real because you don't like that person, I'm going to ask questions. Um, but yeah, the receipts, but not yeah. like none separated to you, just so that we can keep a log. No, we know why. Because yeah. <laughs> had people. <laughs> why did I get out of the group? I don't. I don't remember why I got out of the group. Um. So to get to the comments, first let's go back to forward. D says hi, loves. Hi, hey. <laughs> Jocelyn Kelly says I do love how structured this group is. Very different from other poly groups on Facebook. We appreciate that. Yeah. We we try really hard not to be <laughs> unsure. Uh, Ms. Sharwicka, I was saying the numbers game matches being so low is crazy. Oh, mm. um, all the posts I've been seeing people look in, play the game, and see where it goes. Mm. You know, and we and I always go back to those posts. Trisha does too, and we make comments like, "Hey, the numbers game is up." Um, so you know, it's, it's up to people whether they want to play or not. Um, I'm not exactly sure if it's because of it, the femme for femme dynamic. If that's the reason, um, I'm sure the numbers will be even lower. Um, for for the stud for stud. Uh, see, I feel like it depends on how we do stuff for stud because with DJ on the team now and you know, things that have been mm-hmm. stuff for stud stuff might come out. So there's, there's a few of y'all. I know that, and yeah. it's okay. We're gonna get you different things. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to start making like a whole space because I see mm-hmm. um, a lot of talk lately that there's no space for the stuff for stud. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. By, by no means, I'm not stuff to stud, but um, I see the lack of support in that community, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so, so hopefully we can start getting a decent space with. within this, this poly lesbians community for stuff for stud because every other dynamic got a little, got a little way in, yeah. except stuff for stud. Those numbers are so low. And they're not, not poly nor lesbian. I can't count them out of our community. I, I, mean, I, yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah. Miss Mickey Baby, I don't understand the game, so I don't play, but I do chat in certain chats. This is why we have directions. <laughs> and you ain't hit our inbox. <laughs> you know what? You know what we need to start doing? I was thinking about it a couple of days ago. We need to make little pin clips, like reels, and you can go to the reels section and check them out. Maybe our guidelines sections, mm-hmm. little videos pinned of us explaining, verbally explaining. Mm-hmm. Because, like, I, I'll get real detailed real fast on a post, you know? No problem. <laughs> it's not. It's no. It's nothing to, for me to write a six-page post, <laughs> but um, not everyone still comprehends that way. So, if videos are something that will be, you know, beneficial for us to do, ex- like explanations of uh, the games and whatnot, and then maybe one day we can do de- like definitions and stuff. Maybe that could be like YouTube content, or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, if, if y'all guys are interested in that, just let me know, and we'll <laughs> drop videos so you guys won't have to read my uh, four-page essays on the group. She likes to write it. <laughs> she really wants you to read. So that's why there's little checks and things. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna have quizzes soon, guys. So oh, yeah. like, look out for that. No, she's not joking. She's serious. <laughs> <laughs> um, Facebook has recommended to me that um, I start doing uh, little quizzes within the guides. So I'm gonna start introducing that once I fill the guides up some more. Um, also, way off topic, but why did Facebook hit me up to tell me that um, they were gonna disable my uh, profile? And which can be very pl- problematic because I'm the creator of the group. That means poof pow <laughs> goes poly lesbian. Like, so just... <laughs> I literally woke up to that message probably like, I wake up at like six o'clock in the morning. 
I woke up to that message at like six o'clock in the morning and I was like, whoa, like, where are you going with my page? <laughs> and then I went to go click on why they were saying they're going to delete my page. They told me that I had to verify my identity and go through some security process because I've reached a status level to where I can now, I can now connect with way too many people. So they're saying it's growing to a point to where I'm reaching a lot of people and they need to verify who I am. So I did it and I... I have my Facebook, yeah, <laughs> but Lord have mercy, it scared me. What's up, baby? What's up? <laughs> you back on? Yeah, that man, yeah, that was scary. Um, no, we're good. Sarah Conquest says, thanks for getting rid of the fake profiles. It's really not a problem. We don't want them here no more than you do. It's not issue at all. Jocelyn Kelly says, same here, but I was scared to say it. She was scared to say that she don't understand the games. Just tell us, dude, yeah, we don't look know. nice. <laughs> like, you know, really, like, our inbox are open. Any questions mm -hmm. you have or concerns, please let us know because we will explain it to you. Yeah. Right? It really is an issue. Yeah. Maybe yes, some of us have ADD. I mean, who don't? <laughs> that ain't that. Yeah. Um, I think as the page grows, um, we, we, we learn from y'all. You know, we take ideas from y'all. And like I said, this is like literally my, you know, second job. So, like, if you guys got ideas or whatever, just let me know. Because we just started this group as a group to meet people like us. You know what I'm saying? It became so much more. So, if you need it, if you need it sculpted in a certain direction, just let us know. Yeah. Okay. Big update. Big update. We need to do no intro for none of the new people this week. They don't know. None of the new people. Who they looking at? <laughs> They're going to be mad loud. Yeah, right? Yeah. So yeah, um, big update we got, and then I'll do an intro for anybody who's still watching for me and Tracia. Um, Washington D.C. We got a house. We got a house. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <Coming>. um, <laughs> we got a nice house. And I will be posting certain pictures of uh, certain things soon. I am f getting the itinerary together. I told you I will have a soft itinerary posted by the first. So, um, yeah, we are in northeast part of Washington, D.C. And the zip code is 20019. So, yeah, that's where we're going to be at. I'm going to formally put it in a group and pin it. What, are you not sure? You think I'm lying? It's 2100. No, Nine. don't confuse these people. It is not. I checked three times. Please, I checked before. I, you know my memory is bad, and I'm telling you it's good right now. <laughs> I got it. 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 Spot on. I got it. It's 20019. That is the zip code our house is in. That's the zip code our house is in. Um, but I'm going to post it formally, so if I'm wrong, we'll figure it out. But I'm not wrong, baby, I promise. I, I have all the things you need to know. Okay. Yes, trust me. I know you. My memory stopped, but I'm, it's, it's okay right now. I got it. I did I it right. I so, um, yeah, we're staying in the house. With that being said, you are responsible for your own hotel stay, your own Airbnb, Airbnb uh, whatever you call it. Um, however you get around in D.C., um, whatever you do. But that's where, where we're going to be at. And that now means that our activities is open for the entirety of the group. So normally we do like a brunch. We'll do like an like activity or outing or something like that. And we'll do um, the hotel room activities, right? So that's normally like where we have the debates. I posted one of the debates. Um, we did the pajama jam there. We do a lot of talking, socializing, introductions and stuff. Anyway, um, all of those activities will now be open to every single person who is coming, all right? There's going to be something to do every single day. Um, so that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, if you are trying to plan your flights around what, what we're going to be doing on Sunday, I would say that the latest time to do so, I'm going to stop right here. I got you. Um, I would say the latest time that we're going to be out on Sunday um, is probably, I'd say, 3 o'clock. So flights after 3 o'clock on Sunday to go, then I know you can reach every single activity on the itinerary uh, for D.C. or something. I, I want you to know that when I feel like hold on or I'll be talking, I'm be talking, talking to them. them. Okay. Um, and mm -hmm. two, I have the best members in the world and the best moderators, so I really don't have to do anything. Because um, Goldie was saying, wait, what did we say? And then she asked to say it again with the games. 
then yeah, I said the texting number games. No, I don't think someone thinks of the games at um You said games. I said activities. That Oh and the games at the uh, hotel in the ho- we we used to do in the hotel room that we will now be doing at the house. Alright, the house is huge. It is it is um very, very large enough to support um the amount of people I foresee coming. <laughs> yeah, it's a huge house. Um, me and I were on the event. Ladies, Tay, um, Nika, we're gonna get right back to you. We just we're just being the wrong DC giving us finish that real fast. Um Dee Dee, your wife can come. Why isn't your what well, well, I apologize for saying that. Why isn't your wife in the group? Hit us in the inbox. Let's let's talk about it. Um, people can come. We just need um, confirmation of other things as people are in the group. Yeah. Yeah, if you have any interest on somebody coming, just let one of us know. We need head counts, like accurate head counts, because the things we are doing is, is like we have tally numbers for things. So if I don't have enough or if there's not enough space, like I need to know these things or I need to go bigger, I need to know. So if you have a plus one, just inbox me or Tracia. Mm, Carla, no, was in the house. You have to get your own hotel Airbnb. Mm-hmm. No, we can't see the dress because it's a shirt and a pencil skirt. Um, I hear that's it for DC. Okay. <laughs> what we miss? So now we have questions. Okay. Mm-hmm. Any DC questions? Still drop them. In are these just poly related questions? Yeah, these are actual. Okay, questions. great. So you want to do the intro? Oh. You want to spot again this week? <laughs> you want me to do it this week, babe? Not prepare me. <laughs> come on, on. You seen it come? You didn't see it coming last week, so I, of course I had to do it this week. I got it. I'm not as complicated. <laughs> okay, I got people, it. People think I'm... <laughs> okay, hey everybody. My name is Lyrical Shug on the page. Um, on a day by day, I go by King. This is my wife, Tracia King, on the page. She goes by Tracia. Um, we are the admins of the page. Yeah. We are married. We've been together about five years. We have been... <laughs> we have been polyamorous from day one. Um, we have uh, we've identified that way from the beginning. We were actually best friends prior to getting together, and had multiple conversations about it um, before solidifying a relationship. So we knew that's what we were going to do when we got together. So, yeah. Oh, current dynamic and what we're seeking. Yeah, what we're seeking. So current dynamic, we are just married, um, and I think we kind of date separate and separately ish. Sometimes that is that the preference. Um, no, the ideal dynamic is a uh, uh, openly closed triad, as we would like to call it. And I'm going to say that very loosely. So if someone wants to ask a question, Tracia can answer it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, so we are. So and this is our dating step. We 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 change by the day. Um, this is a journey. People fail to realize that Polly is not something that you come into. Oh, I want another girlfriend. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> get your feelings hurt in Polly. So we go through this together one day at a time. So Nessa's always coming in being openly put po- wanting an openly post triad. Mm-hmm. Things change. And we adapt well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely that's spot on baby. <laughs> Hi Candace. T Friday made it. But Hey, hey everybody. Our question. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming back, Pa. I'm coming. Oh, I guess this is DC related. How do we pick states for the events? How do we pick states? So, how we pick ATL was based off of popularity. So, I got, being mm-hmm. the creator of the group, well, being on the admin, administrator's team, period, we all got access to this information. It's the statistics of the group. Um, so, the statistics of the group show me which members are where, which cities are popular, um, and how many cities are, like, most popular, like, top ten. So the last time I chose a trip, well, when we spoke about the last trip, when, uh, when Lisa was moderator, we planned that together. We chose ACL based off of ACL being so popular in the group. Um, Washington, D.C. Uh, why did we choose Washington, D.C.? We had a couple of members in ATL speak about D.C. We wanted to go to Pride. Oh, yeah, we wanted to go to their Pride. <laughs> or D.C. or Baltimore, it didn't matter. Yeah, and DC made more sense. More people voted on DC. Then we go there in DC. Okay. <laughs> the next event, right? Because there is a next event, but I haven't said it yet. Um, I don't know if it's been said in the group, but they're gonna find out where the event is based off of who knows the answer to this question. I'm not answering it. The most mm. popular, and don't put it in comments. The most popular 
state in our group is where we're going for the very next event after DC. Yeah. The very most popular state. It is it is like skyrocket like like if you just could think about it, you would yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we're not gonna confirm or deny yeah. where that is. We've already started planning that, but we're gonna wait till um a little bit closer to to uh and we start finalizing mm-hmm. things and start talking about it. Okay, we have to answer at least maybe your question because What's that? so much is going on now. Okay. Dee oh, no, not Dee Dee. Sorry, baby. Nika, how do you handle maintaining a current relationship if one has ended while you're in said relationship? Meaning you're with multiple people, one relationship ended, how would y'all handle it? Mm-hmm. Okay. You want to answer that first, baby? Or you want to think about it really? I'm trying to think of, is, is the question, like, so... You and you and my metamor break up. Like how do I, I handle it or how like we handle it? Well she said we, so um That's why that's why I'm tripped up. Yeah, could you be a little bit more specific who asked that? Um Nika. Nika? Yes. Okay. Yes. Alright, so let's double back to that question okay. after she specifies. Alright. So Tay P. Anderson is upset. She's trying to figure out how she missed the game how the events. Mm-hmm. Um She's glad she, T-Fry, glad she made it. Candace Boo. How about you, but City? Jocelyn says it's so nice to meet you both. <laughs> Goldie, so there's another pajama jam. The itinerary. Hold on, we didn't say that. Will be out. That's why I don't know why she did <laughs> The itinerary will be out. I did not say that. I said we used to do activities in the hotel room, such as the pajama jam, at the last event. <laughs> That's what I said. But um, the itinerary will be posted. It's like 11 days, y'all. It's like 11 days we're going to post the itinerary. Um, yeah, I already gave y'all a big drop with this with this house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, there's no all these Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? Tell me like to include you guys. Yeah, definitely. A lot of that yeah, they ate up on that post the about uh, the house and the, as opposed to the hotels. And I yeah. was like, you know what? So I just I, see this house. I'm getting it. <laughs> you know? I love that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, you know what? I pulled it up on one site. You pulled it up on your site, and then you was like, "Did you check your message?" I said, "Did you check your messages?" We pulled up each other's site, and we had the same house. And I knew more about it than she did. So even but that, I still sent it. To all me. you seen was a house. I knew everything else it had, and the opportunities. I get some it held. No love. No love. No credit. Into half. Yeah. Anyway, Jocelyn Kelly says, "And how on earth did I miss your ATL event?" Hmm. Howdy face. That's a good question. Because we here every week with multiple, multiple comments. Check the pin post, the chat. Are you in the chats? I know that a lot of you aren't, but there's chats, there's pin posts. Shit, there's members that say who's coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you could go on, you could go to the group and you hit the little tabs key and um, you could turn on your notifications for the group. It won't turn off for every single post, but it will turn on for like when we post the um, admins and the moderators. Yeah. Um, and like when we pin posts, if you need to post follow events. us, mm-hmm. yeah, so you can, you can do that to follow and keep up with like the most important stuff in the group. Tay P. Anderson says, Got you, thanks, y'all. Just waiting on North Carolina, <laughs> they're gonna, they gonna keep doing state service, they're gonna keep doing North state Carolina. Service. What happened? We got a lot of we got a lot of going the states improperly, so I'm gonna we're gonna do it properly. What I'm gonna say is we probably no, that's that's damn sure I'm not finna say. I'm not going back to what she like. I don't know, I don't care what she back to say, but it's not with the letter A. Nah, scrap it. It ain't happening. (laughs) I wasn't gonna say that. Scrap it. Scrap it. (laughs) Carl says, Yeah, you would have loved it. It was dope. You had great vibes. Sorry, it was nice. <laughs> I know, I know. Yes, I know, I know. You said, could you answer my question? Morgan, we, we missed something up I'm still going. Hold on, I'm reading. Morgan St. Ash says, I finally caught a live. We're very happy. We're very happy that you did. Of course, we know, yeah, as we in here, though. Jocelyn Kelly, darn it, but that's okay, because little baby about to travel. We can't wait to see you in D.C. Who the camera? Oh, that's, where I don't know. I'm right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> baby. You got it. 
Mm. Yeah, as you know, we're impatient. I don't have time for you. <laughs> Do you say, Nika, can y'all please answer my question? No, wait a minute. You must have missed that we asked you a question back. Because um, she asked, how do we handle it? Mm -hmm. And the question we want to know, is it us as a couple, or how do I handle the fact that her and my metamor are are broken up? Mm -hmm. Or something like that. So, so answer our question. Mm -hmm. (laughs) What the Yeah, I have a plan in a Philly one. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Philly will be probably a little more intimate. Yeah. It probably won't Um, be like a big, big setting. It would be definitely smaller. mm -hmm. We we live near, very uh, close uh, to Philly. So it's nothing for us to just go to Philly. Everybody, that's, let's yeah. go out tonight yeah. and do something. That's pretty right. easy. We have a couple of members uh, around the surrounding areas as well. Mm-hmm. Miami should be next. Ooh, I had a terrible time in Miami. Stop, stop. <laughs> <sighs> I got to do it for the group. But Lord, Jesus, I, like I had a terrible time All right, in Miami. Allie, don't, don't, don't go on the band. Come on. Thank you. Tony Gibson finally made it. Hey, ladies. Carlene, I agree with Miami or Key West. Now, I'm down for Key West. I'm 100% down Key West, but we were thinking about cruising, right? Yeah, I'm, I think, yeah. Yeah, all right. Um, it's, it's on water. Or even Orlando, come May way. Uh, no, no, not come May. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing happening. Next Friday. event is in June. Next event is in June. Definitely. I'm talking to some to Miami. Hey, DJ. Hey. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Hey. Vanessa. Okay, because I'm in Philly and me and my girl, so be there. <laughs> Very close, man. Johnson says, oh, no, what happened? What happened? I need to know. Oh. Well, she said, no, she probably said, I don't know what happened. And, um, Miami. Mm. Well, I don't, I don't like, I don't do <laughs> Florida, man. I've been to Florida a couple times and I need to stop going there. <laughs> I need to stop. Maybe I just need to wait a couple years. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so we need to go alone with promise people. Okay, <laughs> a, little, a little sneak peek. I gave like a thirty second overclip. So before we started opening these trips, like in events, to the group as a whole, we had a very much smaller crew that we would just specifically go do things with yeah. from the page, and we just had you know a time out there that was a poly shit show. Should I say, for lack of better words, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and Miami keeps, no, Florida keeps offering me poly shit jokes. Hollywood, Miami, Miami. Anyway, <laughs> Orlando. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So, yeah, there we go. But, uh, <laughs> Ryan says choose a place in Florida. I think Key West sounds like a, a good idea. That is as with the whack people, Miami gonna be lit. You can you can calm down, car. <laughs> Wait, Indigo Weavers on our team, Florida is not it. <laughs> DC says period because I'm five minutes away from Philly, but DC is close too. Yeah. Miss Chair Conquest says yes to Miami. Ali says that was well. Carlene, I meant my way. Ah, perfect. <laughs> uh, Vanessa got to go. I'm at work hiding in the bathroom. Don't, don't do that. We need y'all to have your job. It's what we think. Yeah, you can get that money, so you come with us. I'm not answering yes at all. I'm not doing that. DJ says hey. Ali says not the bathroom. <laughs> We got everything here. What's a poly shit show? I'm intrigued. Okay. Um, <laughs> I just read that. Man, it was just crazy. I don't want to say too much. You know, people be in the group sometimes, you know. I just, I don't want to say too much. But, man, we went there. <laughs> and it was just a lot of non... A poly shit show is a lot of non-poly activities taking place at a location where a lot of poly people are. <laughs> something on the line? No. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, something like that. All right. What's up? What can kind of say? Uh, we're good. Come through DC. DC Bo Life. Um, Allie's talking to Ind- Phoenix. You got everything here. I want to go to Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> hey, didn't you say we had like three poly questions that we had to get to? That was neat when he asked one. She ain't response to that question yet, right? No. And we had like two more? No, we had one. Oh, okay. Well, I thought it was one, and it was about um, how do we choose seats. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we definitely take your recommendations, too. I mean, you know, numbers, numbers win. So if everybody is voting on one state, we're going to take our little asses there, you know? And we're going to plan something now. 
So boom, you spit that out first. I guess how you handle it. <laughs> how you handle it? <laughs> Your hand, I'm over here handling it. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Um, I guess just with her. How do, oh, so how do I handle it? I handle it with her. We have impeccable communication. Like we talk all the time for fun, not fun conversation. Not like I don't uh, know how to even explain. Um. But I enjoy to speak to my woman. So whether it's about something sad or not the best, we kind of go through everything in life coming together. So I don't have an issue with asking her if she's okay and telling her that I'm a little uncomfortable with today. You know, with a, it's a lot. We don't have that issue. So communication would definitely be my first answer of how I would handle it personally. And then with her, how do we handle it together? I think same thing. I think I think like in a if we're talking about us specifically, I think we're always gonna say communication because that's mm-hmm. how we work. Mm-hmm. We talk some we talk about something and it's just fixed. It's better. Mm-hmm. Like that's like just it's just how it is. Yes. Not everybody has that same like, you know, opportunity and with what their partners to just talk about something and then boom, it's just fixed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I think a lot of the things that I wanna address in that question are some things that was challenging for me dealing with a situation of similar nature. Um, so definitely to answer the question directly, I confide in Tracia one hundred percent if my feelings are hurt from an outside source. And I say outside source because I mean that in entirely what it says. Mm-hmm. Like, outside source. Anything that is not Tracia, if it hurts my feelings, I normally come to her and I confide in her. And, uh, like, the way she consoles me, that that gives me comfort. All right? Um, So that's how I handle things. Together, I think we definitely handle things through communication, you know. And we have a very strong foundation, you know what I'm saying? You mess with one of us, it's like you mess with both of us. So uh, nine times out of ten, you hurt my feelings, that's like, you know, Shoot my wife on her foot, you know she's gonna be. I'm gonna be hurt, but she's gonna be pissed off. I'm, I'm just yeah, that's different. I'm pissed off, <laughs> you know. Um, so, but I want to address some of the challenges. Now, some of the challenges is like like say if somebody else hurt your like hurt my feelings, and now I have to deal with that hurt with my wife. Sometimes I don't want to hurt, period, at all, and I will shield my hurt and I will take it away from like my wife and have to put on this like wall because I don't want to deal with it. I don't want her to have to deal with it. And I also don't want to display a hurt that not only just an outside source because it's not any old outsource any old outside source now. It's another woman who has hurt my feelings. And like that just feels almost shameful. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not this is I don't come to you with the same pride like my mom just pissed me off. Mm-hmm. You know, as opposed to I'm coming to you because I'm arguing with, with someone I'm, I'm dating or mm-hmm. someone says something that hurt my feelings. Mm-hmm. And then another issue that um, I face is confidentiality between relationships, right? So being able to talk to my wife about any and everything on a normal basis doesn't always apply when we're dating separately, right? So we're dating separate, I'm dating a woman, and that relationship should have its confidentiality and its own sense of privacy, right? So I do kitchen table poly, so I'm only going to have one family. So that doesn't mean that, like, just because I have one family that, like, that's one relationship. I still have individual relationships with each, with each party, as they do with each other. Um, I'm going to give a both pause, because you probably got comments. <laughs> so, yeah, those are some of the, like, you know, like, challenges within that question, too, rather than to just answer, like, the best things. Because when you know the challenges, sometimes when you embrace for that, you know how to uh, better approach it when you deal with those issues, because you've seen it coming. Thank you. Be right back. You got it. Oh, I'm 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 I'
So how do we think together-ish? What do you mean? We said it. That's why she said that. We, <laughs> oh, she's asking us how do we uh-huh. think together-ish? Ish. Okay, so... Well, that's what I meant by when I said kitchen table poly. When I later started speaking, I, I uh, referenced kitchen table poly, which is like KTP. It's the little acronym mm-hmm. that they keep going by. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's how we date together-ish, because as much as I'm in a relationship with another woman, um, like I said, I want one home. Mm-hmm. So they have to be in cahoots in one way or another. They have to be able to live in one home under one roof together. That may not be all in one bedroom. We may have our own, you know, separate spaces, but we need to be able to have one home function. I want her to see the not bad. I want all that to be together. Even if we're not in a triad, like I think that's, that's still okay. <laughs> I would prefer <laughs> to regularly all sleep in one room, but still have separate rooms. Yes, oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I would never want to take something from somebody, but yeah. I want her to be okay with, you know, I'm sleeping with, I'm sleeping with y'all, man. Okay. See, but it, dep- it depends on the women in the bed, man. Because that ain't always peaches and creams, man. I don't like yeah. it. <laughs> that ain't always peaches and cream. Being in another bed, two women that, they don't, they don't sleep to your comfort. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I like women with a lot of ass, so there's no, Here we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was going to say, get this up on the couch. I like my truth with my mouth. Okay. I'll take uh-huh. it. Both in response to your question, the answer. Or did we answer, Mika? Is that, is that relatively the answer we're asking for? Yeah. Okay, my girl wanted to know, um, Jocelyn Kelly says, please don't be offended, but why are y'all so freaking cute? I've been smiling this whole time. Uh-uh, y'all not going through me like this. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate it. Smiles with the smiles. <laughs> it says smiles contagious. <laughs> Sierra says, lucky. Sweet says, hola, my love. Hi, honey. Hey, Nikki says it's awesome. You know, last says yes, says I love y'all communication. DJ says thankfully we have that too. Verbal processing is essential to us. It really is. It's really necessary, especially if you're in poly in a relationship. You need communication, which is general. But poly is not for the weak. If you cannot have proper communication with an individual, Didi says she loves that. Ali says aw. Nikki says, I'm blessed to have the same with my wife. She doesn't play with my feelings getting hurt, people hurting me, and vice versa. She's literally my best friend and wife in one. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question for uh, people who think of that similar nature or have that same uh, dynamic. Um, How do you approach your metamor, right? And let me know if we need a definition drop or something. Can somebody drop a definition of metamor Mm -hmm. in the comments, please? Drop the definition in the comments for me. Um, how do you uh, approach or do you approach your metamor um, with the concerns of the safety, well-being, whether that be emotionally, physically, or however, mentally, mm-hmm. of the partner uh, that you guys share? Yeah. Do you? How do you do it? Mm-hmm. Do you approach that person with concerns prior to you having concerns? Or do you approach, approach that person once you start having concerns? Do you say anything? Is that a conversation you only have with your partner do you feel you have the right to yeah because you shouldn't at all and i guess i'm asking from a kitchen table poly sense because if it's parallel we kind of wouldn't need that question mm-hmm. sure. jocelyn kelly says great answer loves i personally think that if your partner is hurting you should be able to support them fully in their healing process after all isn't it more important for your partner to properly recover I'm very pro kitchen table poly though, so maybe that's why I see it like that. Mm. No, that's that's fine. <laughs> Nika says communication is definitely key. Miss Lala, I think my partner is my best friend as well. Yes, yeah, you said that, babe. I love Miss Lala. Um, Tapey Anderson says I like that kitchen table poly shit. Okay. Jocelyn <laughs> 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 says yes. Give me all the cuddles. Yes, yeah, because I'm sleeping in the middle. We know. <laughs> we know. I'm not sleeping in the middle. I, I one time. That's it. I'm good. I did. I thought that's where it was at. <laughs> I thought that's where it was at. It's not. It's not it. You're not getting it. That's not it. I'm going to read Oh, mm-hmm. okay. So this is all of them. Cars is my stroke at the moment is choosing which dynamic fits us best. How did you guess which? How did you guess decide what was best for you guys? I can't say that we decided. Well, no. I think we could ask the members that question too. If the members could also answer the question, ask mm-hmm. the polls. How did everybody decide what dynamic worked best for them? 
I think we have, we are two of like completely different, like, but the same people, you know? So we kind of like, um, really agreed to the, the, the lifestyle and how we wanted to raise our children. I think it started there in the family we see in our children and what we see far along in the future. And that let us know our ideal dynamic. And um, also, I guess, in, w in w which different variations we can see that future happening. So, example, we say we want like an openly closed triad, but we're okay with, with something if it happens along the way that's outside yeah. of that. So, um, obviously, like I said, we, we, we dated separate um, till now, up until now. So, if we're dating separate and our original idea was an uh, 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 openly closed triad, then we have to adjust to how that's going to look for our children. Mm -hmm. But I think we've already thought about that and how that's looked, and we're okay with that. Mm -hmm. So we know we're open to that along the way. Telling the children is second nature. You know, they say, like, what are you, a black woman? Like, yeah, I can't take that off. I'm like, telling my children I'm also a pie lesbian, kind of goes hand in hand. Mm -hmm. They're going to know that from a very early age. Yeah. Allie says, I was looking at two y'all, some beautiful beings. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you the definition, but Nika gave it to her. Metamorph is your partner's partner. Yes. 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 Um, if I had a concern, I'd sit my wife, I'd sit my wife and Metamorph down at the table. I want kitchen table probably too. And we'd all sit down and discuss it together and resolve whatever issues may arise. Okay, do you address that yes. concern? When you have it, do you address that concern as a prior to that concern popping up so that person has a pre-knowledge of uh, how you feel? Mm -hmm. Like, when do you address that? And is it a must to sit your partner down? What if it's just a problem with your metamor? What if it's a, what if it's a, oh, so, no, I'm sorry. The question was the problem with you, so I need to tell my metamor that you're hurt. Yeah, does she have to be there? So that's not always, I shouldn't have to always have a mediator in the conversation as well, being yeah. a your woman. Yeah. Some conversations are, whether you're dating that person or not, are not for me to be present. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was bothering me. So, yeah. What else we got up here? That helped a little bit. I don't know, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Why you want to do something else? No, no I wasn't. I didn't need anything. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, metamor is your partner's partner. Normally, those two partners. Um, so you. So say example. Me and Tracia, right? We're married, and like I said, we may date separately. So say we have said woman here. This is, I'm dating this said woman, right? Me and this woman are just dating. Tracia and that woman are not dating. That woman is Trisha's metamorph. That's her partner, which is me. Her partner's partner. Mm -hmm. So that's the identification of a metamorph. It's up to it's up to that dynamic whether or not their metamorphs are uh, like sexually involved or just a platonic relationship, a best friend relationship, or just people who live in the same home and uh, you know operate well together. But it's normally not romantic, right? Because if it was romantic, it would be a relationship between that person as well. Yeah. Share conquest is sitting in the middle of hot shit. For real. And true. Mm -hmm. And is prior. Nika says, yes, I address, I'd address the concerns as soon as they happen, so it'll be resolved ASAP. Jocelyn Kelly says, I like to be proactive, not reactive. Right yeah. Now. Alex has got to go, family. Love y'all. All of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you soon. Be safe. <laughs> Nika says, if everyone's not able to make it, we'd at least talk on the phone and resolve it, too. Some type of communication. Some yeah. form. Uh, Tay says, oh, okay, like a sister wife, but not a sister wife. What they call it, your step-girlfriend? I can't. <laughs> not really <laughs> your sister wife. <laughs> sister girlfriend. wife is more of a, a polygamous term. The term is also more used in uh, heterosexual relationships. Mm -hmm. So not necessarily a sister wife. And also not sexually involved. Yeah, sister wives are not sexually involved. It's more like religious based. Or like uh, when, they have, when they have those like spiritual and, and, and like cultural practices. Mm -hmm. okay. We'll call <laughs> yeah, step girlfriend, I'm using it. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Guys, you know you guys could go to the guides tab on the page. At the top of the page is a bunch of little tabs. It says like files, events, photos, reels, recommendations, questions. You should say chats. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it should say <laughs> chats up there too. Um, like about description, all that discussions. You guys can click and go left to right. Some of y'all phones is up and down. Go through it and you'll see like events. You'll see all the upcoming events. These poly talks are normally posted there along with the, the DC event. Um... What else you'll see? Guides, guides tab. I love referring people to the guides tab because, yeah, um, all of our definitions to like the words that we commonly use and we add as we go along are up there. Uh, tips, uh, different dynamics, understanding them are up there. You can find all of that in the guides tab and all of the discussions that the members had under it too. Yes, and this is some of those questions and misunderstandings. Yeah. yeah. Or some people talk about their yeah. own situations up under there. Like, oh, this is me. This is what I, what I got going on. To identify. Yeah. Yes, Tay PM says, yeah, I'm about to be in them tab because I'm stuck on kitchen table quality. <laughs> That's yeah. all we want. <laughs> oh, and the best thing about the guides tab, um, if you just go to the page and you hit the search bar on Poly Lesbian's page, say if you type in kitchen table poly or if you type in KTP, every conversation, every post, mm -hmm. every dynamic, Every people, all the people associated with that term, and all the posts will pop up, pop right up, and it'll be right at your disposal, and you could fish right on through it. You could do that for any word or phrase or acronym um, on a page. What else we got? That's it. They just look at the all, all of them. It's like looking at our pretty faces. Hey, Mason. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, once we get to that that let loop, I start repeating myself. <laughs> <laughs> um. So updates again, in case anybody is new watching. Updates. We got updates for uh, the matchmaking game. Trisha has begun giving out the matches. Um. And you're gonna continue after we get off the live, mm -hmm. giving out the matches for the fem for fem matchmaking game. If you've missed it. Then just be aware of next week, right? I'll be posting the numbers game, which is free for everybody, all labels, dynamics, whatever. And I'll be collecting numbers for the numbers game, um, and we'll do the numbers game next. So keep an eye out for that post. You can turn notifications on for the group if you just go to the settings of the group. Um, what else? Oh, I'll be closing the group. <laughs> I'll be closing the group uh, April 1st. <laughs> you know what I'm sure? All right. I'll be forgetting. You be act surprised. You act surprised. Every time I forget, like you don't live with me. <laughs> First of all, we ain't closing the group. It's going to be April Fool's Day. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be closing the group on April 1st. You know what I'm saying? You cannot no longer. No, no new members will be allowed into the group. The only thing you can do is invite people. They're still going to need to answer the questions. So make sure if you're inviting someone, you're extending an invitation in some, some way. But they answer the questions, including responding to the group rules. And, oh, another DC update, right? So if you haven't heard of our DC event, please go to the uh, tabs and hit the event option. Even if you don't go to tabs, you can go to my pinned features up there. Trade this computer dying, baby. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so even if you go to the, uh, the, the featured pinned post right on top of the group, you'll see the DC event up there, too, because I posted it up there. Um, we're going to DC. June 10th to June 12th. Yes, thank you, baby. June 10th to June 12th, we were going to D.C. Um, we going to be taking over D.C., and the pride is going to be happening while we're down there. I want to be very transparent about the pride that's going on down there. You go, baby girl. You yeah, I'm looking at see what side was on. Okay. Um... Oh, so the Pride is going on. The Pride Parade is taking place, I believe, Saturday, and there's a festival taking place Sunday. As poly lesbians will be attending the parade, we will not be there for the full duration of the parade. We will be having our own events separate from that. I cannot support a group of 100 to 150 people at such a large gathering like the parade. You know, so um, we're going to have groups, we're going to have activities outside of that. And you guys are free to go to the parade as you please. Um, I'll update the chats and say where we're at while we're there. And um, then we'll be going back to the itinerary to do what we scheduled to do. All right? Because there's going to be gay shit going on everywhere. <laughs> Just gay shit. Because <laughs> it's, it's Pride in D.C. the whole weekend. They said it's gay 
everywhere. And we in the heart, we in the heart of DC, right in the northeast, right where, uh, where everything takes place. So that's where the house is located. So you're gonna be right in the middle of all the gay shit, promise. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, we got a house. Mm -hmm. We got a poly lesbian's house. And we will be opening up all of the activities, the entire itinerary to everybody who is attending the event, right? Let me be very transparent. There is going to be an event bright link when I post the itinerary on the first. Please sign up with that event bright link. You can let me know if you will be bringing plus uh, plus ones, plus twos, or plus who's. You know, um, you can let yeah, you can let me know there. Um, there's going to be a bunch of different checkout options and different things. So I will be posting that in like probably like 11 days or so. Um, just please register through Eventbrite because we need to start keeping track of how many people are interested in going because if I do not have a headcount and I schedule a venue for 50 people and then 75 people show up, that's problematic, right? So yeah, I need to start getting a headcount, guys. So please, please um, keep up to date with the things that's going on on the page and look out for us on April 1st or just make sure you check the group April 2nd so you can see what we posted. All right. What's up, baby girl? There's a numbers game discussion. Uh-huh. Um, Sweet says she's giving up on matches. Shani says, love the numbers game. Shani says, ain't nothing else. In oh, <laughs> I found it something. <laughs> um, Nika says she gave up on the numbers game. Shani asked her why, and she said, because no one is consistent enough for me. I played three times, but even for friendship, no one stays consistent. Yeah. She's having some number of the matching numbers. Yeah, I get that. And you know what's crazy? As much as we, we, we give up on things, it'd be that like, one time you ain't played that you might, just might have met somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> they be like, yo, you know what? I ain't even. And I'm not going to play this time. We're like, you sure? That's what happened with um, the, the people that went to the event that told us that they was together. Oh, yeah. 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 It was like, yeah, yeah, we played and we've been together since. And oh, I was yeah. just so happy. And they're all new type of couple. Yeah. Love them. Love them. That's good. Yeah. Uh, Nika's bringing Luella and her wife. Okay. Just hit me in the inbox and I'm, I got a, I got a list. Mm -hmm. I got a list of all y'all. I'm Luella. making an Excel spreadsheet that got all the little calculated formulas in the back so I could just tally up every time y'all tell me something. She's serious. <laughs> well, to be honest, Facebook gives me a really good guide. They let me down yeah, really their, their Excel. So, you know, Facebook is very, it's very good with this. Um, they've been very nice to me ever since they verified my little profile. Do you feel like somebody? No, I, I'm never going to feel nobody. They start sending me checks. <laughs> when they start sending me checks, we can talk about something. But until then, no, I'm just lurking for sure on Facebook. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Lala Solomon Jackson says she's new to the group. What is the numbers game exactly? <sighs> you got that? You looked at me, I see. You got that? You got that? <laughs> Nah, because I don't think no one, but you can, you can co-sign. All right, I got you. this? I need some help. I'm going to be back here co-signing. So the numbers game is almost like the matchmaking game, just on like a very, very bigger scale. So you give us your numbers, and essentially we make a post. We put that post out for only a few hours or 24? I think it, no, they, they yeah, they go for 24 hours. The post was up for 24 hours with everyone that's played number it's a list of everyone's number you can decide to text one number two numbers for some reason some people text all of them <laughs> um that is up to your discretion but um you're able to make those matches anonymously and text as many people as you want yeah versus the matchmaking game on our side we get nitty-gritty and try to actually match you guys we're no cupid and we're no hitch but <laughs> We do try to at least put you guys together locally for socialism. We want you guys to be friends at the end of the day. Whether you get a relationship out of this, you know that's that's a that's a, that's a good pro. Yeah. But a friendship is ten times better because I know it won't end. Yeah. <laughs> or at least off that as quickly. Yeah. <laughs> friendship lasts longer than relationship. You good? Um. Sorry. <laughs> So you did miss an important detail. Mm -hmm. You explained good, but you missed an important detail, baby. 
the numbers, both the numbers and the matchmaking game are both anonymous games. Um, so you stay anonymous for a week. Wait, before you continue, we're not playing the game because Nika's like going to inbox you now. He's got to inbox you. Wait, wait, wait. We're not playing the game. The game is closed. <laughs> the game is closed. The announcement was Tracia is handing out the matches. So if you haven't already submitted the, the, the game, like your entry for the game, that was long over um, days ago. So um, I think I just got Nika's message. So, yeah. <laughs> so the games are anonymous, right? So the matchmaking oh, yeah. game, like she said, we collect all your information. We ask you a few of questions such as age, location, budget, bar, dynamic, whatever. And we try to match you with someone else who is playing the game. Mm -hmm. Now, let me say something about the matchmaking game. We've made matches. Yeah. We've made real matches. Yeah. We have actually played Cupid. Yes. But we are not and, Cupid. And we shot. And, you know. Yeah. Um, we've seen some matches get in relationships and... And get out. Someone to marry him. <laughs> yeah, we've, well, seen, we've also seen marriages. Yes. We did get um, a marriage out of it. Yes. Yes. And we've been doing this for like two years. So yeah. we have seen decent things in the matchmaking game. The numbers game is a little bit more spontaneous. I can't necessarily tell you how successful the numbers game is, but I can tell you it is successful because the members love the frick out of that game. Like she said, we collect all you number, all y'all numbers. We put them in one big post. We drop them in the comment section and on that post. The members have access to it for 24 hours. Anyone can text you. You can text anyone off the list. You guys are anonymous for a week and then you reveal to each other. The thing about this is why we have this as a safe space is I've been playing this game for almost two years now. So likely if a member texts you and they fail to reveal themselves for some reason, or they're playing on your phone and like after you block them, whatever, report their number to me. Because like I said, I've been doing this for years. My contacts, I have <laughs> thousands of contacts. You understand? So if someone has hit you up, I can likely look their number up and it'll pop up in my contact live or in my Facebook live and I can track that person down as opposed to who's hitting you up. Um, I haven't really had like, I think we've had two incidents out of the whole time we've been doing this to someone being like, yo, like, my ex is stalking me on this game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. For the noise game. Uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> so, we haven't had many incidents of where people are going crazy, but um, that's just, I just make that um, announcement to throw it out there. You know, if anybody's texting you, likely, if they're in the group, they're probably giving me their number, if not this game, 10 or 15 games, games ago. ago. Yeah. Easily. Easily. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Because we don't let the inactive members say. Hand, yeah, we've interacted with nearly all of our members in one way or another through the course of these couple of years. Yes, I've had I people numbers that I never knew. That's why I had what's the name's number when she called me in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I had her number. I had her entire number. Yep. Yep. Well, let's just her and Sean are coming. Yes, the ladies, please send us inboxes, uh, head count. Oh, I'm coming. I'm bringing my girlfriend. I'm bringing mm -hmm. this one. You know, let us know. Um, there will be a post out. There will be a post out. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make a poll now, sooner than later, um, so we can just start collecting people. You know, check the DC event every now and then, every couple of days or every couple of weeks or whatever until then. You'll see polls. Um, you'll see I post the hotel that I was thinking about staying. Um, now that we're staying at a house, Tracia will be, she says she's going to give you guys mm -hmm. recommendations for the hotels nearby that are our decent price range. So yeah. <laughs> so you guys might want to look at Airbnbs on your own, um, but we're gonna post a hotel or two that uh, might be beneficial for you guys to stay at and that is conveniently close to us. I'll find Airbnbs for a fee. <laughs> I enjoy to do it. So I know some people don't like to, I got real good. <laughs> okay, so we got that going. Yeah. Cancel. If I catch the next one. Yasin Kelly, jump in my inbox. Let's, I'm, I'm not going to keep doing this with you. Drop my inbox. So, figure that out. Um, <laughs> Lala, so I want to say thank you to Nika because she had answered her. She answered out what the numbers mean was. She said, you give them your number, and one week later, they post your number without your name, and you text someone for five days anonymously and see if you connect. There you so, go. So, rough draft. Love them. <laughs> he says, no, I inbox so my wife can be added to the group. Ah. Okay. Right, we'll um, no, I inbox you for who coming to Pride. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we also gonna drop a poll in the room. Mm. 
we're gonna drop a poll because we need to ask y'all. We know how many people wants to actually attend the parade. Okay. I know people are completely uninterested in activities like that. Some people don't like the crowd. Some people like being near it but not in it. Um, I know I'm from New York and. If you're in New York and you go to Pride, you absolutely do not go to the parade. You're just not amused by that parade. You go to the activities surrounding it yeah, <laughs> because yeah. the parade is just the same thing. You know, a bunch of, you know, gays doing shows, you know. Um, that's what it is. So yeah, For free. Because they're just in the streets doing it. Uh, yeah, just walking around naked. <laughs> <making, laughs> <everybody's laughs> <doing it. laughs> yeah, but if, if we're going to drop a poll to see who's actually interested because... We actually, I'm going to drop a hint, another hint. Oh, we got a lot of hints in this one. We, we like actually, hunt and make some money figure I it know, out. right? And see if a member could get it. I and do like a like special little, little discount. Ah, we got it. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was I saying? God damn it. <laughs> I don't remember. You said you going to get a hint. I know. I don't know what the hip means. <laughs> they don't know what the hip was about. Oh, 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 okay. So I remember now. We got a huge, huge um, activity plan that we have invested our time, effort, brains, um, energy into. Do you know what I'm talking about? Are you talking about? Ah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there we go. You can't sign to them? Well, no, some of them, some of them cause I, I, I covered my hand because some of them said they know sign language. Some of them. <laughs> I don't mean nobody's blowing up my spot. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was that what the letter was at? <laughs> all right, all right. So, um, yeah, we got a, a very large activity that we're going to plan, and it would be on the same day as the parade. It can play, t- take place before or after the parade. That's not a problem. But we need to do this poll to know because, yeah, I mean, if you're going to be surrounded by lesbians, why not be surrounded by poly lesbians? Come on, you don't love your own community? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like that. <laughs> Everybody's with it. Um, I'm going to do my best, but work has been hectic for me. Amazon is a mess. Don't I know it? That's how Monica feels. Like, I might go through the same thing. I know. He's awesome. This is facts. He says, hell no, I stay, I stay away and chill on the pier. Um, the pride, you know, seeing those people from New York. Oh, yeah, facts. <laughs> no, you can't go to that parade. No. That nonsense, no. that crowded. No. I understand, but if you guys want to go, I will show face there. My yeah. friends will show face there, and then we will continue with our activities. You know. Um, Say PM says yes. I didn't. I didn't make it to the village till like six PM when it was Pride. Yeah, for real facts. But wait, and then until a couple years back when they stopped well, letting us on. Yeah, you stopped letting on the pier. Like, like on the pier. <laughs> <laughs> wait, you can go to your friends. Oh, come on, Fourteenth Street. So we all walking. You gotta walk no, all the way. Come on, come on. 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 Come of course, yeah. I'm not doing it. So I will, I'll drop a poll because I know a lot of people feel that way about the parade. I know some people do want to go to different states and be like, no, let me see their parade. Yeah, I'm not against um, it. Yeah, so I'm not against it, wait, but wait, I just wait. need to know. Not for nothing, no, I am against DC's parade. Yeah. Who the fuck has a parade at 3 o'clock in the afternoon? Yeah, I just knew we would be all right. It was 6 o'clock in the morning. We like, hey, are <laughs> we're, we're, we're bright and early. Let me make sure I did. Crack ass. I'm just some gay shit. I'm not with some people's pride. But definitely, yeah. Lala misses the pier so much fun in Pride, New York. Oh my gosh, good time! It really is. We are a t- family. Oh no, we beat up that girl that that comes to border on. Um, oh. I ain't gonna say that. They, I'm sorry. Well, we didn't. All right. <laughs> I, didn't beat up. I didn't beat up nobody. We didn't. No, 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 no sorry, man. We didn't. Yeah, it says keep Pride lesbian. What's keep Pride lesbian? Oh, we're gonna be around. He says yes from your Pride. Ooh, I don't know if we're ever on the New York Pride event. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, no, 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 not that way. She oh, was okay. just saying yes when we were talking about it. Okay. But, uh, yeah, just so you know, all our New Yorkers, love yeah. y'all. But we know as a whole we're not doing New York Pride. Yeah, we're not. I'm not even doing a period. Y'all got it. <laughs> <laughs> the cops are way too heavy. You cannot get an event down there. You cannot. Yeah, I wouldn't advise that many people to come. You got me texting where to come with entrance now. 
Same thing with DC's pride. You have to know that because you know we're going to DC. That mm -hmm. the police will be out there heavy. The security will be out there yeah. heavy. You will be standing at the parade. Um, those are parade. Like, like I said, we're not affiliated with those events. We have our own itinerary. Um, but like th those things will be taking place there. You know, it's, it's just a show. You walk and you watch. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> we won't be there. <laughs> we gonna stop. Oh, you can, drive, that's what you're drive. saying. Yeah, we're we're going to gonna stop by the parade. I think we should breeze by it. I think we should go and, um, and, um, actually do your car. We're going to throw Yaz in the back. We're going to go to the parade. You already said, yeah, we're going to talk about it. I'm waiting for comments to get upset, get angry. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, oh, that's old, that's old. Somebody said, yo, I need that. She said she won't be doing it no more. I'm not doing it. Wait, matter of fact, since we're since there's so many New Yorkers on the polls, I know there's not that many. Um, who else is pride? Like who else goes to their pride? Like you see how we're talking about the pier? Like what do you do at your pride? Yeah. How does your parade work out for the urban community? Let's say in essence, does it continue that way? Yeah. You see DC has two completely different prides. Oh yeah. We're going so, to the uh, what is it? The Capital Pride? Pride? We're going to the Capital Pride in DC. Um, they have another pride, which is called the Black Pride. And um, the only reason I chose not to go to that one, because after talking to the members that are from D.C., a lot mm -hmm. of people were saying it's overpriced, overrated. The expectations are over, uh, uh, like, like they don't meet the expectation that they say. Mm -hmm. um, and so they were, a lot of people from D.C. were saying they're fed up with the, 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 the Black Pride. And so I was like, okay, let's try the regular pride, the capital pride, which all the black people also go to, so, yeah. you know, so we'll try to the Capitol Pride since D.C. Black Pride ain't been kicking it for mm -hmm. a few years. Yeah. I wonder what else we think Pride. Yeah, for real. Like yeah. I said, we got to understand with poly lesbians, I love my um, <laughs> with poly lesbians, even though we're taking over a city, we will be doing individual events for you to meet other poly lesbians, not just other lesbians. The point of our group mm -hmm. is to socialize with the people of our nature, yes. right? Something of the umbrella category we are in. Mm -hmm. So when we're doing these events, we're likely doing them with poly lesbians, not with general lesbians. Like when they ask me, well, why didn't you choose a gay bar? I said, well, we had our own section. Nobody was bothering us. Yeah. I didn't we want were other only, people. Yeah, we were only poly lesbians affiliated. Uh -uh. Y'all can decide to date lesbians and explain to them that, you know, you're poly. I personally am not going to put you into a situation like that. I'm going to let you meet other people in our group. And then wherever you can meet outside is where we're going to meet because yeah. we're going to be at regular places. Yeah, definitely. Um, but to go to another lesbian event, yeah. that's you, half of our community. And you see how many people we attract at the club we went to? Yeah, we oh like my God, 10 other lesbians. lesbians. It's because of the sex. No, yeah. <laughs> it's because of the sex. So, um, definitely, um, just know that if you are going to a poly lesbians event, you are likely going to be interacting with someone that has also come from a poly, the poly lesbians page, you know. We do go to open settings, though. I do want to, we do go to open settings. With nobody. But I'm, I'm not going to say the parade is our goal. But that's not, we'll, we'll post it on the itinerary, like, you're free to go to the parade, poly lesbians not affiliated. But... Like, we cannot control the parade, so I will never host an event at the parade that's already so controlled. Yeah. Without me, I, yeah. Yeah, I can't, I can't do nothing about their regulations and guidelines. I can do something about What am I going to say? We're going to walk through with the parade? What am I going to tell you guys? Yeah. yeah. The day that we get in a parade, y'all want to walk with us? Because, you know, I kind of want to do it. I really want to do it. Parade. I kind of want to do it. I want to hit a banner and everything. I when do you it. get big enough. I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> One day we'll hit 10K, and we're going to do Y'all going to walk in the parade with me? Come on, real talk. Y'all going to walk in the parade with me? Because like, I like stuff like that. I wear a bunch of feathers. <laughs> I'll be really, really excited. <laughs> but to continue, sweets and Dee Dee. So all these friends that we have in the group, y'all coming, y'all coming together to DC. I know you just said sweets that you know you gotta work, but I forgot that. <laughs> Nika said she has been at Miami Pride on South Beach and it was lit. So this yeah, I had Pride was lit in la um, last year in Miami too. I heard about that. It was what? like no COVID ever existed. Oh <laughs> no, that was spring break. Yeah, no, but like the last two years. Either way, been Either way, spring break Miami, y'all doing the most. 
I do the most in them time. That's, that's, that's awesome. Um, Lala says, yes, DC Black Pride Memorial Day weekend. It's been whack when I've gone. It's expected. Um, I don't know if it's because of COVID. I, I can't be mad at nobody's prides for the last couple of years. That with COVID, it's been kind of in and out. Yeah. Like, I can't blame that on... Uh, New York Pride is great, even the yeah. pier. But when we went during COVID year the first year, that, that Pride was, was, was kind of trash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love Sweet Heat when I went last year. Sweet, let's talk about it. Just my inbox. Let's talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're meaning to do some research on that. Yeah. If that's how, if that's how we're going to go back to Florida, we're going to go with a big old bank. <laughs> Damn it. Because I... <laughs> Florida on my shit list. I should do it for three days. One time. Three days or two days. I mean, I just, uh, yeah. La la, it's better now. Haven't been in a while. I'm sure, but I'm, I'm sure she doesn't have, maybe it's better now. She hasn't been there in a while. Mm-hmm. Nika says, ass and titties everywhere. The gay men were super sweet, though. My wife and I danced and chilled with some of them, and it's what I'll never forget. Hashtag memory. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what it's really all about. Sweets walk the parade twice. Really? With who? Let us know. Share a conquest. You can see a parade anytime, but it's hard to meet pie lesbians every day. Yes, that's yes. hard. So we're trying to bring you all together. Yeah. In you know, I had um I, I recently booted a member um a few days ago. Mm-hmm. Um and they were making comments such as, you know, why are we not going, you know, to turn up? Why are we not going mm-hmm. like, to do this and do that? And this. I'm like, you could go to any event, anywhere, and go to a regular old club, go to the most popping strip club in D.C. Me personally, I'm sorry, guys. If I'm in charge of the itinerary, I'm not taking you to the strip club. I'm just not. Go to the strip club on your own time. Why do you want to throw money with a poly lesbian by your side? If you're going to throw it at the the probably heterosexual strippers in front, that's in front of you. <laughs> like, I don't understand. So that's not what I'm into. That's not really what I'm going to um, be like doing when I do my events. I'm probably going to, um, going to do more interactive things. Um, yeah, get everybody uh, on some interactive and socializing. And turn up, too, because we definitely turn up. Yeah, I don't think that... Definitely definitely turn turn up. Please, anybody that has been to our events, let yeah. us know if... I don't know, we can be liver. <laughs> like, yeah. We definitely be turned, you know? Um, but we we, we be a, we be turned like adults. You know. Especially since we be trying to order things and ask questions and they be like, We wanna talk <laughs> We try so hard. <laughs> they talk to them. I say all that in that video I posted from the event in Atlanta, all you see is ass and titties. Everybody just moving and shaking. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, yeah, we turn up too, so you know, come come vibe with us. Like she's like like who said it in the comments. You know, you meet poly lesbians. It's it's not share. It's comments. not often. You know. Yeah, that's yeah. really why it's like we make the page. Like it's one thing to meet lesbians. It's one thing to get into a LGBT alphabet group. But to meet poly people that are lesbians, that are solely, mm-hmm. or poly people that are lesbians and not lesbians and bi. Yeah, and I feel like lesbians and bi might you might you might get close. Yeah. But that's not also what our page is for. Yeah, we also have this page specific for lesbians. We love y'all. So also, <laughs> that's enough since we say that, and we're also throwing a bunch of stuff out there about people letting us know things about catfishes and whatnot. If you see somebody on a page mm-hmm. trying to recruit you for you for for them and they man, let me know. Yeah, let me hear Tracy now. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is send me the goddamn screenshots. She trying to recruit you for her and her man. I'm gonna let you know. You know Wait, even if somebody trying to recruit you for you, her and her woman. And that's how this this page is not a hookup page in particularly because yeah. people always say that. I'm, and not, I'm not against it. So I'm not gonna get mad if you know people people approach people differently, and what I might see is okay. The next person might see is weird. You're right, but this is why we have multiple like backstories on certain people. Yeah, you're right. So. Just let us know. If somebody's coming at you weird on any yeah. level, just be you know, weird. just just let me know. You know, harassing, like, you know what I'm saying? We've had people, like, be weird, you know? And each and every time, we've gotten rid of them, so that's why we keep the space clean. But y- y'all gotta let us know, you know? You gotta let us know. Yeah. Oh, let's talk about 
What? What are you want to talk about? Yeah, let's talk about the comments first, and I'm not gonna forget about this. No, I'm not gonna forget about this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna forget about that. Miss Good says, "Hey y'all, it's a new face." Miss hey. Butler says, "Hey y'all, hey." Sweet so says, "Both my old jobs, great times." Oh, she walked in the parade with her old job three times. That's, 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 that's mad cool. <laughs> I like it. That's mad cool. Sweet says, throw it at me. We'll talk about it. Um, I'm not talking to guys no more than me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dee says, the sweet's okay. Oh, we do got a pile of lesbian strip in the group. What? <laughs> that's not what she said. Oh, well, you know what? You're right. <laughs> but no, we're not hiring no poly lesbian strippers this this trip. I oh, like so this trip, so we had one the last one. <laughs> I'm not taking y'all to the strip club, but I'm not gonna say if somebody on a thing got a business that. Wait, we do. We did have a sex therapist on the trip, though. Like real talk, oh, yeah. If you, y'all need help, we have that for you. You're right. Like hit the admins up for anything. Like you ever think about it? Like hey, y'all got a poly related XXNO? Hit us up because we we will have those insights. Yeah, we kind of do. Yes, I'm not talking to you. Nah. <laughs> so yeah, you know, like I said, I'm not gonna take y'all to the strip club, but there's a service on the page. I buy it, maybe. No, no. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> there's no promotions on the page but please talk to us first that's why there's no promotion on the page you yes. need promotions to be promoted properly yeah <laughs> I've been finding out a lot oh if anybody knows anybody or anybody directly here um, makes websites please let me know please let me know you know I've had everything down packed all the social media platforms all the business accounts you know and the next step I'm trying to copyright the name um, but I, I, I don't have a website. I don't have that skill on my own. So, yeah, if you know. We somebody. also need um, any trademark and copyright affiliates. Yeah. Yeah. I was uh, talking to Elsie about that. She said she mm-hmm. going she gonna to help me with that. So, um, but yeah, if anybody more else has more that. information, that's cool. But um, definitely, if anybody knows how to make websites, I need that. I need that. So, Miss Finley, where is what at? She said, where is this at? But she didn't like reply to nothing or nobody. I don't remember what we were talking about. Like, Where is this at? I don't know. I know the event is in DC. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's it. Yeah, no. Yeah. Everybody's laughing. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking shit. He's <laughs> right talking shit. <laughs> Sierra, whole ass on here. Not talking shit, but it's okay. <laughs> Oh, so let me tell you something. All the people with the mean names is our friends. Like, oh, oh, <laughs> like, I'm not responding yet. Don't be <laughs> oh, that hoe is up here. Yeah, all those people, those are our friend friends. <laughs> I don't know. We call them a lot of bad names. <laughs> you don't want to be my friend, or no? If you don't want to be called a name, don't be my friend. For real. Like if slut, hoe, bitch, was a bad word to you. We were, we're probably not a match. <laughs> I like horror. Ooh. Yeah. Well, you know what? Brian used to like? People didn't like it, but sleaze. I don't like it. I was like, you want to get a sleaze or a sleaze? <laughs> <laughs> that, that was really bad. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss your beautiful face. Who said they miss her? Uh-uh. I'm about to go and reintroduce myself to the group. Yes. I'm dead, sweetie. <laughs> reintroduce yourself. By all means, please. You know, Not any introductions, ladies. Let me tell you something. The group has been more active than it has ever been. Who got you over there, Kat? Gar. What she say? I'm a new bad man. Everything. Nah, Kat on my little list. She was real good in the list. I think I call her a whore today. I think I, I embodied her spirit in Atlanta, but she was a good girl in Atlanta. Man, that's not true. I'm not, nah, I'm not gonna say nothing, but that's not all the way true. Man. <laughs> call the type of person that you hold your face. <laughs> I ain't supposed to be laughing right now. <laughs> yeah, you fucked me up. You fucked me up. You see the there. This is why we get so many extra comments that we only know about because we have these little yeah, we, rants. Of, and we don't know these little rants. Yeah. <laughs> Wix is good to make sense. Yes, it is. 
But I feel like, I don't know, something about when I do it, it look... I'm OCD, so... If she I has the way she wants it to look. So if you have any other sites, that'll be appreciated as well. Whether you have to pay for them or not, that's not the issue. The aesthetic of how it's going to physically look makes some money much more. Yeah. And Wix is so... Book. Yeah, I mean everybody got everybody got it. Everybody got it. Mm-hmm. Got, you know. yeah, he got it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I don't want that. See, I get called something every day before the sun is up. You damn skip, okay? You damn skip. All, I give you all the good names. I don't know why you're. I don't know that she's referring to me. That's not. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. It's, it's just a part of my vocabulary, you know. See her family got to put on the list. This because she that's home. What's home? DC. DC is cool. That's my house. So we got y'all when this pop off. So there's oh, no reason yeah. I should be seeing you. Correct. Like yeah. I love meeting members. It's like my my yeah. my top bucket list. Oh, <laughs> and, and right. So I can say this. So if anybody rewatch this, then we might probably like two hours in. But if anybody rewatch this and you are from DC, live in DC, round DC, right? <laughs> um. And you could contribute in any way, like, you know what I'm saying? You got mm-hmm. games you want to bring. You want to bring chairs. You got this. You, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, last time, everybody was being mad helpful. Yo, I could bring this. I, I know. Know. Well, wait, no, people were mad helpful after the fact. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'm open. Let me know. Just hit my inbox. And, you know, I'll just say yes. Or I'll just say no. I don't need that. Somebody already said mm-hmm. we got that. Oh, we got yeah. that already. If you would like to. Yeah. Right, or uh-huh. an open group. For God forbid something happens, something breaks. Yeah. It's, it's reimbursed. It's not a problem. Yeah. Whatever. Definitely. Want someone to be without? Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, just let me know, and you can let me know as I post the itinerary. If you see things um, that is pertinent to what you may have at your home, and I posted it in itinerary, then you know, let me know. Let me know, because I want to be honest. Like we we come out of our pockets for everything we do entirely for this page. You know what I'm saying? Like this is this is just what we do. This is we enjoy this, so I guess we don't mind putting that forward. Yeah. But definitely, if we, if we can receive back in some way or receive some type of alleviation, we're gonna do. We're gonna take that route. Mm-hmm. Father says, "Yes, you did. Called me a whore and a bitch at the same time, same day." I said that. So <laughs> what? Wait, 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 wait. Mika said it, yes. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> Spot on. <laughs> Spot on. Because <laughs> he's like me. Right? <laughs> For real. Wait, I was great. Cat, all cats in ATL. She was, though. Oh. I'm going to say something, Matt. You were great to me, man. Nah, man. <laughs> nah, man. She won. She was great. She was great. <laughs> she was great. Didi trying to figure out what gas do. <laughs> because she get calls up there every day before. Um, wait, hold on. Let me defend myself. <laughs> chill, chill. Those are words of endearment. I say, I say to her, right, just like this, right, because you're probably reading it and not verbalizing it in my voice when you read my messages. <laughs> yes, I say, good morning, whore. Good afternoon, slut. How are you doing, ho? You know, though that's what I mean. It like it's the same thing. Like, good morning, friend. How are you doing, love? You know, it's the same exact thing. <laughs> I, I would put my yeah, crown on. Yeah, okay, you got it. You got it. <laughs> You're right. Good morning, you know, whore is all the same thing. However, in the midst of that, I put my crown on because Miss Butler says, wait, wait, what did what? she say? It's never you. It's always king. So I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not. It's always king what? <laughs> <laughs> it's always <laughs> Alaysia, what you talking about? <laughs> because, man, don't do that to me. I don't do nothing. I don't do nothing. <laughs> like, Miss Valadia, hey, I miss everything, huh? No, we've been up here yeah. cutting up. Yeah. Um, you got any questions? Can you give me DC updates? Are you coming to DC? Ooh, yeah. You know, they, they, that's where we are. Right? The matchmaking. Jump up that matchmaking game. It's DC. closed. That's cool. You just name it off. You didn't even tell her nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it got yeah. listed first. Yeah. Oh, and the group is closing on the first. The mm-hmm. group is closing on the first. Yeah. You know, I let you guys know all the scoops to what I'm doing. Miss Finley, we're not even going to open that message. You're going to just my inbox. We're going to talk to you tonight. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, so I'll talk to you as soon as we get off this. <laughs> I got like four scheduled phone calls when I get off this. <laughs> <laughs> All with group members. <laughs> but I'm dedicated. I do this for y'all. Yeah. So, while I got, you know, about 20 people looking at our little faces, I want to announce who's going to be going live with us next week. <clears throat> what is her name? Uh, King Javon, right? Boom. So she was a very popular member in our group a couple of months ago on some posts. Um, she was very popular on some posts. And uh, so, yeah, she's going to be going live with us uh, next weekend on Sunday. We'll be doing live at Sunday. I will post the poly talk, and um, you guys will be invited. Everybody here who's here now will be invited to the poly talk next week. Sunday, we're going to be going live with King Javon. You can look up on the page. It's, what is it? Q I N G. Last yeah, name, yep, J A V O N. Uh, hopefully, I ain't just blow her inbox up or nothing like that. But <laughs> don't y'all inbox my friend, she'll let me know. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like you know, get the me on live. She's gonna come live, and we're gonna bang it out, talk about some things, poly related things. It's gonna be an informative live. Um, she's open for discussions, so come with your pen and papers and questions ready. Going on, um, Tuesday Friday says she's from DC, but my family is still home. I live in Seattle right now. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Planes, planes come from Seattle. Like you can just jump on the airport. You'll come to Tuesday. Yeah, <laughs> we'll be there waiting. Smile. <laughs> Wait, I remember I told you, lady said she missed everything. <laughs> Nick won't say you did, but you can replay it later. <laughs> you You're right, it is up there. We keep everything up for you guys to be able to go back and yeah. apparently get our whole story. You know, it's available. Yeah. You go on the page, you uh, type in Poly Talks. All of the Poly Talks we ever did will pop up. <laughs> Wait, ladies, I know it's not the same. That's true. <laughs> That's true. You don't get to conversate, converse with us. Car is dead. Be kind of fucked up. This is fucking weak. Mika's dead. <laughs> yes, I get her stink ass back though. <laughs> um, a lady's gonna say with the names, talking shit. That's why you're not better than me. It's me. It's, it's, that's why it's me. She calls me a lot of names too. A lady, you call me a lot of names. You call me a whole lot of names. So. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. If, I think. I think I'm a slut. Yeah, I, I think I'm a slut. Oh, she calls me a slut regularly. So it's not just me who does name calling. She said it's, which. Yeah. She, I know what she said. She, <laughs> you know what? I know what she said. Whatever. Uh, yes, says, I just be the sweet, loving me. And I feel the same way Yes, do. We are loving fucking people. you right here. I'm going to pop off on you right now. Y'all be playing us like we doing so much. <laughs> yeah, and we want on this camera. <laughs> <laughs> We will talk about it, guys. Like, <laughs> we will talk about it. <laughs> How that make you feel? <laughs> like shit. <laughs> no. That's it. Yeah. Um, Nika, I'm sure you do with your Capricorn remarks. <laughs> y'all quick on y'all feet with the comebacks. She said that to you guys. Capricorn quick on their feet. Yeah, quick on her feet for other reasons. But yeah, she's quick. quick. She's quick for other reasons. I'm not yeah. talking about Capricorn. <laughs> yeah, it's got a little computer in her brain. Like, you say something, she say it right back. <laughs> Real quick, she already knows what she's going to say. <laughs> Turn me to, uh, Miss Potter, could you tell me something? Could you tell me how to pronounce your name? So I'm real big on names with my members, and yours has been tripping me up. I have something in my mind. I'm not sure. I need you to confirm it for me. You're going to do what you do at, uh, at the D.C. event? You uh, you did at the ATL event? Yes. Excuse me, your name is, and you are, and this is... Wait, wait, yes, dial me in. Mm. <laughs> dial me in. <laughs> I'm not majority, sure. at least if we spoke a little bit, or if you like, are at least active enough. Yeah. I'll you're relatively good. know your name. Yeah, you real good with it. You real good with it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm just not good. T. Fridays is all definitely there, but lady, I'm coming back to that. Um, a lady says, no, I don't. You do. <laughs> um, if you are going to the event, please, so I have an accurate head count, go to the uh, event and just hit that you're going. You know what I'm saying? Hit that so at least we can um, communicate with you on yeah. updates and things. Yeah, because when I hit message, I hit message all people that stated mm -hmm. they was going. Mm -hmm. Ladies, that only when you call me a hoe. A, a 
Alexis, is your whole ass coming to D.C. or not? <laughs> like, are you coming to D.C.? Damn. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Since she missed ATL for... <laughs> Made up or something. Oh, look. I know you call me a slide for you a hoe. Okay, I'm not doing this with y'all. But ladies, says if I'm able to go, I want to be close. Okay, yeah. If you look at the post I just put pinned in the group. Wow. Speaking of, one of the hotels I've been looking at is about, what's that, 15 minutes away? 15 minutes away, yep. So That hotel, if you are interested in staying in a hotel that we dropped, we dropped the Y Hotel, right? Mm -hmm. We dropped the Y Hotel. Now, I'm going to be real honest. Like I said, it's D.C., it's Pride Weekend. It is filling up and fast, okay? Mm -hmm. When I was looking at the hotel, there was 95 to 100 rooms available. That was last week, and it's still two months away. There is 90 rooms available, so that means five to ten rooms have poof, con like gone within a, less than a week, you know? So I would suggest if you are looking for a hotel or Airbnb to do it by the first when we post it, mm -hmm. and that Y Hotel that we posted is 15 minutes away from us where we're staying at the house. Mm -hmm. Um, the lady says, did we find the Airbnb yet? That we're staying at? Um, the, the, the admin team? You, you posted that, so yeah. So yeah. Yes, so the Air, uh, the Airbnb that we will be staying at by Lesbian's house, um, it is located in the northeast section of D.C. I will not be dropping the exact address in the group. I will only drop the exact address in the group chats. Because, like I said, you will be registering on Eventbrite with this link. So you will have access to the exact address we are at at that time. But to give you guys an ideal location, uh, the idea of where we're going to be at, we're going to be in northeast of Washington, D.C. And this zip code that we will be in is 20019. The zip code we will be in is 20019. Right. If you want another pinpoint of like locational reference, the Y Hotel that I posted on Union Market, that's 15 minutes away from us. Okay, we're in Northeast DC, 20019. That's where our house is. Okay, so wait. Before I get into that, apparently we missed something. So remind me that I missed something. <clears throat> but in essence of, um, she said she wants to be close. So yeah. We're going to give you a, a justification of the around, the surroundings. So at least y'all can be close. If y'all yes. want since you're doing your own thing, yes. they should be somewhat close. There's also a park. About five That's miles That's why I was thinking you want to just say that, um, what that is. I don't, what's the name? I know, yeah, of course you know. No. Okay, so, well, I'll also put it in the group, but you can let the live members know. It's Kenilworth it. Park. <laughs> you knew that. <laughs> like, you knew that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say it. <laughs> But well, yeah. we're very close to Kenilworth Park. Yeah, we're very, very five close. minutes away from that park. So uh, if you if if you look at that park, it's located in Washington D.C. D.C. on the north um, so, northeast side. That's a pinpoint yeah. of where we're gonna be. We're gonna walk a distance of that. Yeah. Yeah, because I know it's not for everyone to be close by. Yeah. So it's yeah. Kenilworth Park. Miss Potter, that didn't help me. Did you just spell your name and space it out? Because what I want to say is Ternetta. Right. Ternetta. But I feel like it's Ternetta. Ternetta, Ternetta. But is it Ternetta? Am I saying Ternetta or Ternetta? I think Ternetta. I like Ternetta. Do that. I think it's Ternetta. <laughs> say, what's wrong with the I'm, major? I'm right. <laughs> and you're not right. <laughs> Can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> that don't happen. He <laughs> fucked up. I'm not talking to a lady no more. I'm gonna, talk to me, I'm gonna talk to y'all about football. What's wrong with her? Y'all don't even do me like that. What, what, why is she? Why is she? <laughs> she wanna fight. It's okay, I love her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because she got Nika on. Oh, so this is what I missed. Because apparently Nika said, and I don't remember when she said it. Kenny, I'm gonna make sure to text you good morning slept tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <hold on. laughs> Let me tell you something. One thing you know about me. I'm a dictionary, so I'm gonna come back with a good word. Oh, I can't wait to think of it. All right, I'm looking forward to it. Come on, text. Niggas, let's do it bright and early. <laughs> I'll be up at four thirty every morning during the week. Chill, I'll be up at six. Six. Yeah. I naturally wake up at three in the morning. I ain't gotta be out of bed until like seven. So, okay, boom. Thank you for the tip. Of course, northeast. Sierra Finley. You said, of course, northeast. No, are we? Are we in northeast? Yeah, we're in northeast. Oh no, we're in northeast. We yeah. were supposed to be in northeast. Yeah. Okay. yeah. 
in my face. My laser will be up at 5 30 Central Standard Time because mm -hmm. you know where you at. <laughs> but no, I see popping. Fuse is watching. See, I'm just saying. It's a delay, so y'all get it late. I'm good. Okay, yeah, I'll do 4.30 and you do 5. Okay, so they're they're plotting on you. Um, Nika's got 4.30. Gia's got 5.30. And I guess when you wake up at 6, you'll see the good morning. So I'm pulling out the big guns. <laughs> I'm pulling out the big guns. Bring it on, King. Wait, could you capitalize that, Nika, baby? I'm all for it. And could you stop using my last name? So her name is K-I-N-G, capital K. My last name is K-Y-N-G. Our last. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just took it from me. Just took it from me. I thought about it after I was saying it. So our, last our last name is King K Y N G, but um, I guess my my first name I go by is K I N G. K I N G. <laughs> and look away, people be calling me my last name, but I guess because I said my name is King, and they go, "Oh, Tracy King." I mean, Nika was yeah. clearly saying what she saw, but now some of them hoes be being petty. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but I'm not gonna call you, King. You're gonna call. You're gonna call me by my last name. You're gonna call me what I told you, <laughs> Mrs. King. To you, because well, you know, like, I make you say Mrs. King every time. That, that, that's <laughs> like fine. You don't call me. You don't call me King. You call me my last name. You call me very formally. Thank you. Well, this is my viewers. I'm hoping for you. No four, five. Yeah, yeah, yes. but yeah, y'all on my shit list now. I can't wait to have the good morning wars with y'all. Yeah, y'all, 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 they want to fuck my shit up though. Yeah, because they just, they just, they just, they just, they want to fuck my shit up though. Because I've been, I have been slacking. <laughs> I've been slacking. I've been good, this, man. <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I, was like, I really have been slacking in this poly world, okay? I used to be good with my time, you know, good morning text. I used to like text back fast. You know what I'm saying? And man, I don't know I don't I don't know what happened. And I just got trash. You know what I'm saying? But it's lit. I'm gonna challenge myself to respond to y'all by eight o'clock. I don't know what y'all told myself four thirty, I will be napping. Oh yeah, tomorrow's Monday. Yeah. Are we doing Are we doing are, 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 are we quit are we Oh yeah, I'm going to work and I'm quitting tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell them effective immediately. I no longer work here. <laughs> They're gonna be pissed off. But yeah, so yeah, we all doing that. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna make my money. <laughs> Where I gotta take you and I. All, <laughs> all activities. <laughs> but ladies, get it together, Kim. Yeah, I do, I do need to get it together. I, 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 look, let me tell you something. Um, so we got a couple of viewers. Let's talk some poly shit, right? Ooh. We've been having this since like six something. Hour forty two minutes. All right, two hours is normal, normal time. Yeah, we always do a two hour. It's always a two hour live. I just know one more thing. Oh, we just we just standing two hours. You want to get some chips? We get some stamps. We put the burgers on. I'm like, you don't eat burgers. You don't like the food. Now, to be honest, I couldn't find them. It was making too much noise. It was a lot going on. Guys, do you mind the noise? Cause you was playing dinner. I know, I know, I know what you do. I know you. I know. All right. Anyway, anyway, let me tell them my struggles. Let me tell them my struggles. I got you. Poly struggles, right? Because we just went over our own little rant. Oh, poly struggles I've been having is, um, I guess, I don't know. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like one of the major struggles in my poly world has been, um, I guess, trying to juggle my attention between work, poly life, extracurricular activities, my primary relationships and still having the need and want to be social and still talk like that because I, I still like to talk to other women you know what I'm saying so I'm struggling in that area because it's not like I'm mad busy I'm not mad mad busy you know I have a phone in my hand 24 7 the job I go to work to as a computer in my face 24 7 that's why y'all see me replying I'm up here 25 eight because even at work when the computer's on my face the page is up. Um, so, yeah, I think that's my biggest struggle, biggest challenge right now. Trying to figure out how to, I guess, service my attention to everything. Because I'm, I, I guess I'm just withdrawing. I, I'm just withdrawing. I get overwhelmed by all of it. I'll be like, oh, work, page, 
Oh my God, everybody acting up today. Nope, I'm done. And I just withdraw. <laughs> Alright. You got any comments up there? Niggas love our accents. Our uh, accent? Well, man. I don't know if it's our, I don't know if it's a youth thing, because I know, I know you're in heavy than mine. We got a completely different, like, tone mm-hmm. to talk if you ask me. You got, you got to hear me say, fuck out of hell, they're going to get cheese for me to get a <laughs> But even how you say it, I feel like we say it, like, like both from, like, being from New York, but we still got different twangs because we come from different places. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What they talk about? What they say? New York accent? Some of New York accent? He said, I swear it's the New York accent for me. What word did I say to make you say that? Like, Probably. what word did one of us say to make you say that? I think yours is heavier than mine. They gonna say something dumb and go, it's just gonna whip it. But New Yorkers but, think I sound like I'm from somewhere else. Yeah. Wait, what right. about the nigga in um Philly that said you know that Jamaican? Man, he just needed to be punched in the throat because he was just talking. He just wanted to speak to me. He looked for some words and found a reason to speak to me. Like, you know, tell me I sound Jamaican. Like, I don't have no Jamaican accent. He saw dreads and hummed ass. Listen, Nika says you're not alone. Probably on social too. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I have four thousand new family members anyway, and I say family members specifically because we haven't met yet. Yeah, and then family members ain't hit. She just leaves me in a bubble. <laughs> but I do actually love every, each and every one of you. And we meet, then we're friends. So I, that, that's beautiful. You see, I seen um, some posts on Facebook, and it was like, when I get married, I'm going to invite y'all to the wedding. The section going to be called Motherfuckers from Facebook. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> how many Facebook friends do we have that are extra? I don't know you at all. <laughs> yeah. But who said that about wanting to be more social? Nika. Yeah. I think I'm just, I don't really start putting the effort out there to be more social. Um, yeah, stick my neck out there. That's also why every time we're on live or even in post, we say our inboxes are open. As much as we're the admins and we ask for yeah. questions and things. I think people are, when, <laughs> like when we say our inbox is open, um, we're probably saying that in, in reference to the games or whatever, and directing the game for the page. Um, and yeah, that's true. But I think as the ad is, people always sway away from trying to like talk to us in that way. And I'd be like, yo, I made this page and everybody is afraid to like speak up if they got like, you know, a crush or whatever towards us. And then they suddenly say something at the latest of times. Mm-hmm. Right after they got married to their wife. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm like, well, why you ain't saying nothing? You know, like, especially because, you know, I speak to everybody. So everybody like, oh, I just thought you was being nice to mm-hmm. me. But yeah, all of us is open too, like y'all's is. You know what I mean? I want to be social. <laughs> oh, we come to Nico wedding. I can't wait. Oh, wow. I'm waiting to get invited to a party. <laughs> and yeah, we're going to. That's going to be dope. I can't wait. That's going to be, be awesome. We need the cameras and the camera equipment for shit like that. Oh, this is also a good time to promote this because people watch these shits back. If mm-hmm. you have a business and for when this is when I post our itinerary because you will know if it's relevant to you based off of what you see. Um, if you have a business and you see it can be lucrative to the event, let me know. Event, can, or events in the future though as well. Yeah. Let me know. So I'll give you guys an example, right? So I'm speaking to a member right now, and she's um, a bud tender and a bartender. So um, she will be offering me a service at the event, right? So here's, let me be very transparent in this, so this can be put out to the page as well. Like I said, I'm, pot, I'm, I'm funding all of this myself. So if I buy a huge house, it's probably me and the admin team, sorry, maybe, maybe me and the admin team or the moderator team, Splitting the house up. If I do a service like bartending, bud tending, it's probably me paying for it. Whatever reservations, all of that. It's probably me. Um. So if you are trying to like offer a service, so example, you sell T-shirts or you open up, you do open bars or whatever, you can do that service. I don't want to pay for a service. I want to give you a platform to promote your own business. Do you understand that? Not me paying for some type of service on top of everything I, I am already doing for the group. Okay, I just want that to be very transparent, you know. So don't come to me like, yeah, you know, 
I got, uh, I don't know, an open bar service. Can you pay me $450 and I'll service everybody? The answer is no, I'm not paying $450 on top of everything else I got paid for for the group. So let me just let me just start here. <laughs> Since, uh, okay. A lady says I became an introvert and I don't know how to get back out. I became awkward because I've gotten so comfortable being to myself, mm-hmm. which is a problem for us all. But unfortunately, I can't take that from you. Um, but we are a very welcoming and opening community. Like not just us. Like pie lesbians in totality. ATL was. We sat back and watched all of you interact beautifully without us mm-hmm. making y'all interact or whatever the case. We are a very open group and we like people that are shy. Yeah. Now you said said that? Alicia. Yeah, definitely. And you know you know we, we, we are some safe havens for you, so you know I got you. If you, if you need some comfort, some guidance, some zone, I got you. So why not say pause? Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> I was right. They might not be the same person, but they together in a relationship. Ooh. Since you voice text her pronunciation, her name is a mess. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's Miss Potter. But that's not who sent that message. I knew it. I'm real good. I'm real good with my members. <laughs> I'm real good. Like you said it like a week ago. <laughs> Like a week or two ago. I'm real good. I like that though. I'm real good. Nika says, do stuff like this, reply to comments, and make friends. So, you my new friend, inbox me, boom. You said it to a week. Yeah. Nika then says, when I know y'all will know, trust me. Oh, by her way. Yeah. <laughs> as far as being social on a page, guys, like, you don't always have to throw yourself in the midst of, like, these social posts where everyone is speaking. And I know sometimes that can be very scary. But we also see how many people are willing to put themselves out there on smaller posts or posts like what or larger posts that are just threads of things. For example, like that BBW post. Members yes. you haven't seen in months. <laughs> you know, like 200 something. Yeah. <laughs> Members you haven't seen in months came out and threw a picture up there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That could be a little in right there, you know, things like that, posts like that, or just throwing your picture on like, uh, stuff like that. You never know who might see it and holler at you. You know? Great. Um. A laser response to me because I can make friends. I just don't want to sometimes, and that's my problem. Yeah. That's that's a lot of our problem. I mm-hmm. probably mm-hmm. just leave. We want. Um, I think no. I don't. It applies to friends, but not nearly as friends to do like mm-hmm. father, fathers. But we picky as hell. Mm-hmm. We are so picky. The littlest of things like turn us off, and this is together and as individuals. Mm-hmm. We're so like picky. We're picky people. Okay. I need one reason to, to not like you. Your energy, or like something. I don't know. You, you chew funny. It was too loud. Look. Don't chew funny. Yeah. Don't chew your mouth open. Yeah. I got you, baby. Oh, Barbara. Yeah. Um, sweet said, I talk shit, but I'm shy as fuck. It's a New York thing. It's a New York thing. Nika says, I understand because people full of shit. The lady says, we going on a trip together. I got you, boo. He's saying that too. You responded to yourself, Alaysia. We are, we go on trip together. I got you. All right. But lady says, yeah, it's definitely hard dating and being social. I love my bubble. Sometimes I feel like it's just a lot of information to take in and remember. Like, why? Yeah. I understand. Are you referring about the information, like, on poly or just the information, like, in learning new people? Mm, yeah. That's, yeah. Miss um, Confess says, yep, she mine. Nineteen years which makes sense because of our cover photos they're together <laughs> I did my research I did well <laughs> little face <Facebook> movie investigator <laughs> I'm good at my job <laughs> oh, I think we're gonna wrap this up mm-hmm. get our burgers on the stove we're gonna be eating at like 9 <laughs> I ain't got the mission <laughs> but I'm learn new people mm. When you say it's the it's on poly information on poly or mm-hmm. information on learning new people. Yeah, there's a lot to that's that. a lot. Uh-huh. And that's that's a lot. That's a lot for me too. Um as much as I love like learning and being like a little geek, I love putting myself in social settings, I love like being a presenter and a speaker, I love all that. I struggle retaining information that is not repeated to me over and over again. 
you gotta beat something in my head for me to for it to stick to me. And sometimes that's very problematic when meeting new people, especially at the volume of people I meet at one given time. I don't be remembering nothing. I, I'll be feeling bad about building connections. I don't, I be, people gotta repeat themselves all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm like, damn, this this chick that told me her dog died. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we. That's what I be thinking. Like, oh, I, I don't know if you the you the woman that told me your dog died. I don't know if you the oh. woman that told me your ex is gonna leave you. You know, for the, I, I don't be not remembering for life for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I catch us up somewhere. Exit yeah. out. We good. Hang on, people. Sierra says no picky and basically a pushover, aka simp. But it's okay, because I'm, I'm going to go talk about that person. I just want to know what that nerve meant. Um, and share conquest is damn good. Because I am. <laughs> I really am. Yeah, you don't. Wait, why? Why? You don't remember shit. That's what I say. I deserve that. But if you know I have this <laughs> nick in my brain, why do you penalize me for it? You feel what you can. You can. You can. You can. <laughs> All right. Lady said it before, but my struggle is the opposite. I'd be annoyed, like, why do I know her face color is pink? Oh, no, why do I know her favorite color is pink? Wait, why do you know her? <laughs> this those is what you remembered. <laughs> those are beginning questions, you know. Stuff like favorite colors come in handy. Yeah, that's it. No, that's it. All Pretty right. fun, baby. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, baby. We're going to do the outro, exit. we got to come up with an intro, in and outro. We gotta, y'all are asking for a lot. We're going, to start, we're going to start coming to YouTube with a lot of things and trying to embed these videos into Facebook from YouTube. And we're going to start doing a whole lot more uh, in that nature. We're going to, that's where we can put music and stuff on it. Yeah, because right now we can't do none of that because Facebook uh, I don't copyrights. Copy yeah. So, yes. Um, as always, ladies, it is great to talk to you guys. We will be going live next week with King Javon. So, please reach out. I mean, look out for the live on Sunday. Uh I will post the time. Don't know the time yet. You feel me? Um, yeah, and catch us on the page talking about the DC updates and whatnot, you know. What's up? You got anything to say to me? No. All right, so <laughs> peace, love, and the bottle of dove. Wash your ass, you Apparently. know? Apparently. Yeah, we all that, y'all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> mm.